is... We now join Guiding Light, already in progress. That's if he pulls us off. Mm. No. What? No. What? what? Um, I don't know. It's just hitting me. I can't believe we have to do this at all. You know, I don't think I could have killed Neil. But Lisa Dravecki... Yeah. Hi. Uh, one large combo with extra cheese. That'll be twelve ninety-five. Do you guys order pizza? No. no. All right. Well, I'm sorry. There must be some mistake. Well, I got the address right here. See? I see it. I see it. But my friends didn't order pizza. Maybe somebody out here did. Well, look. All I know is somebody owes me twelve ninety-five. Did somebody out there order pizza? How long should I wait to follow you? I don't know. Um, maybe three weeks or so, something like that. Is it going to take me long to get from Paris to Capriya? I don't know. You've, you've got to get to Genoa, and then from there you have to take the ferry to Elba. And after that, who knows, because you've got to pay a fisherman to take you the rest of the way. I need a passport. Yeah. Oh, wait until I'm gone, because it'll look a lot less suspicious if you do that. Well, what about you? I've already... Yeah, that's good. I've got a passport, but I can't use it. Oh, man, I gotta get another passport. And soon. All right, we'll straighten that out. All right, what's wrong now? Ah, uh, we just realized something. I've gotta get a fake passport. Do you have any idea where I can get that? Yeah, it's your friend. Where are you going? Come on, we're leaving. But I wanna throw rice at Uncle Billy. Yeah, I feel like throwing something, too. Let's go home and trash the nursery. But I don't want to go home. Right. Oh, I'll buy you ice cream on the way. Okay, but no beauty mine. All right, deal. Give me a kiss. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Good luck. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. I just can't imagine where Billy is, unless, of course, he's with my daddy. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. I think so, too. Just for one second. I just saw Harley leave, and I hope you gave her a good talking to. But it's not that you need after Reva has gone. It's, it's, it's accurate. Yeah, I know, Sarah. Thank you. Well, Sarah, would you do me a great favor? I, would you just make sure that we have enough hors d'oeuvres? You know, people have done nothing but eat waiting for Billy. Well, I'd be glad to check. Thank you so much. Well, it's nice to know that some people appreciate my help. I know she means well, but the way she goes on and on about Reba is making me nuts. I know, I know. It's just that people experience grief differently, that's all. Well, speaking of grief, what kind are we going to give Billy for not for showing up late? <laughs> I don't know. I think marrying me is going to be enough grief. I'm serious. So am I. Um, you know what? Little Billy brought his lasso. Well, that has some definite possibilities. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt, but I just got a call from your father. He told me to give you the message that he'd be here soon. Oh, good. I is Billy with him? No, but maybe that's why he called. Excuse me. Oh. You might have handy with that lariat. Yeah. Where you've been handling it. Let me see you do one of those tricks again and take your time. Now, come on, let's try it. Huh? I wish Dad would do it. Oh, he'll be here soon. Now, don't you worry. Hey, how about a refill on that soda? Thanks, Mom. All right, guy. Billy. If you knock with Henry, you'd better be in a ten-car pileup somewhere. Excuse me. Your sister has told me what you had to say about me being a grasshopper and how I hop from pasture to pasture. From you to Alexander to your sister, am I pond scum or what? Fletcher, you're not pond scum. You're a wonderful person. I almost left Ed because you're such a wonderful person. So is that all my fault? What did I say? It's just I don't think that you think things through sometimes. Well, that's because us insects go with instinct. 
Chelsea's still hurting because Johnny left her. And you come in with your hat cocked and twinkle in your eye and a smile that says everything's going to be all right. Chelsea might misread that. You're right. Well, don't worry. Me and your sister, we're just friends. Does Chelsea know that? walking into a room together and not a black eye between them. Well, if Germany can do it. Billy, where in the world are you? She is a member here, a Lewis heiress to the Lewis oil family. Now, do we get a table, or does she get you fired? I would like ice cream. You heard the rich child. A five-year-old signing for our dinner is highly irregular. I could sign my whole name. Yes, and she prefers crayons, so if you have anything purple, that'd be great. Uh, but, uh... uh Good job. Thank you. Alan Michael. Long time no see. Well, let's see. We can't discuss work, family, or global warming. Do you have any suggestions? Dinner was your idea. You must have had a contingency plan. You could always dance. You've got to be kidding. It's either that or talk politics. Yeah, your music has a nice beat. Mmm, look at that, huh? But I wanted ice cream. Yes, after you finish your dinner, you get your dessert. You tricked me. <laughs> Mara, you know the rules. No dinner, no dessert. Okay. And don't spill anything on your dress, okay? So, Alan Michael, how was your honeymoon? It was interesting. Yeah, I bet. We'll talk about it later. Oh, I can imagine. I was along for the first one, remember? I heard about what happened. Must have been uh, holding this together, huh? Yeah, I've been trying. You wouldn't believe the things that have happened around here. Is this the stupid turkey? No, that's chicken, Ma. I need mean ham. <laughs> don't be, don't talk while you have food in your mouth. You're you're spilling it. No, no, I think I am the stupid turkey that uh, Harley was talking about. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Things have changed since then. Yeah, I'm sure have. So where's Blake? She's uh, away on a rest. Oh, that's nice. But you said Blake was a real No, I, no, no. What, do you want your dessert now or what? You know, you made hardly cry. Billy blows this. Now, you stop talking like that. He's on his way with Henry now. I just don't understand what's keeping them. I hope they haven't had an accident. Now, Henry's one pitiful driver. You know, it's just like Daddy to be late for his own wedding. Maybe it's not his fault. Some things can't be helped. Yeah, well, you can make them uh, better or worse. I guess. 
You know, Dylan, I'm real proud of of what you did today. Sam was lucky to have you. You did okay, too. Taking on justice. <laughs> it's nice to see you fighting someone besides me. Well, I didn't think you needed any extra pressure. Reva would have been real proud of you, too. Not, not that she wasn't always, but today you were wonderful. Thanks. You don't... You don't suppose that Billy could be at Nadine's, do you? On his wedding day? Yeah. No! Well, he and Nadine were pretty close. Right. But no! Billy's true blue. Look, man. I understand that. But Billy... Hell, he's Billy. What does that mean? No. Oh, good. Good, because Billy is crazy in love with Vanessa, and everybody knows that. Yeah, 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 well, I know that. But so just tell me, why is he late on his wedding day? This doesn't make sense, man. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> yes, I'd like a number for Nadine Cooper, please. Springfield. Thank you. Got the machine. So she's out of town. <sighs> well, you see. See what? Well, she probably just couldn't stand losing Billy to Vanessa. I don't know. Max. Hi, sweetie. You know, I know it seems as if we've been waiting forever for your daddy, but he's going to be here. I know. She promised. Yes, he did. Do you want to help me open some presents? No. I'm staying here. Till Dad comes. Okay. I love you a lot. I love you and Dad, too. Honey, don't worry. Your Daddy's late. But he'll be here. Do you feel better? <sighs> Nadine, how the hell did I get here to Cross Creek, huh? We drove. Don't you remember? <clears throat> you said you were missing Reva. Mm -hmm. And that you had to get away. I thought the beach would be nice, but you, you said you had to come here. Why is that? I don't know how I can do this. It's my wedding day. Yeah, well, I kept telling you that, and you didn't want to hear it. Finally, you, you just passed out, and, and I went upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I felt like Goldilocks trying to decide what bed to sleep in. This place is huge. Oh, no, look at the sign. Oh, I gotta get back. Yeah, if I get the next plane out of here, I think I get back in time for the wedding, don't you? Billy, honey, uh, look, it's after 9 o'clock, and you're never going to get back to Springfield in time. Why don't you just relax, and, and I'll make some more coffee? How could you do this to me, Nadine? What? Well, get me to miss my wedding. Oh, no. Don't you dump this on me. You passed out, and, and I tried to wake you up I don't know how many times. That's why I made the coffee. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Yeah. Well, you better be. I'm not mm. your babysitter, you know. <clears throat> if you have a good time, you have to be prepared to pay the cost. <laughs> well, uh, this here's certainly one fine mess I got myself into. <clears throat> so, what do you want to do? Well, You go out and see if we got anything that's just a little bit stronger than this coffee, and uh, and then I'll decide. Uh, 
I guess I, uh, I hit a little bit better than I thought for Reba. Well, it, it was a terrible shock for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know, pretend it wasn't. It just made everything just a little bit worse. And all that hurt come out at once. Just as once. You know, everything is just going too fast. Maybe you've just been rushing into things. Mm. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I gotta call my family and let them know that I'm okay. Yeah, I'm sure they're worried sick about you. Yeah, well, Vanessa, I'll just tell her. You know, she'll understand. Yeah. Can't do it. Well, little Billy doesn't want to admit it, of course, but he's scared. He's frightened. And I'll tell you, I'm starting to get worried, too. Now, what if Daddy and Billy have been in an accident? Yeah, we were just talking about that. Well, surely Henry knows better than to drive at night. Well, I don't know, do... Uh, for heaven's sakes, look at the three of us assuming the worst. <laughs> now, you know those two. Daddy's slow, and Billy always takes his own sweet time doing anything. So, they're late, they're rude. Mm -hmm. That's all there is to it. <laughs> If Billy had kept Reba waiting this long for their wedding, well, she would have slugged him but good. <laughs> but only after uh, he said, I do. Reba was always so impatient. Well, I remember a time. Fuck. You're not listening to a word I'm saying. I just can't talk about her all the time. Huh? What? I'm sorry. I know it helps you to keep her alive, but... But wait a minute. I don't want people to forget her. That ain't about to happen. No, I mean it, Harvey. When somebody is gone, everybody starts taking their name off things, like checks and, and phone books and, and uh, Christmas card lists. And, well, pretty soon, other people start replacing them. And I, well, I am just not going to stand by and see my daughter replaced by the likes of someone like Harley Cooper. Dylan. How's Sam doing, huh? Well, she went home tonight. So soon? She decided against the surgery, so there really wasn't any point in her staying at the hospital. Too risky? She's lucky to have you, boy. Well, is there anything we can do? I really don't want to talk about it. Give up, Cub. Let me show you what's good to eat. You've got to be real careful with French food, you know. People eat snails and little snakes. Hamp, Hamp, I thought Daddy was with Henry. Yeah, well, everybody's making that assumption, but, you know, what if he isn't? Well, of course he is. Where else would he be? <laughs> so your grandma, Miss Martha, told Billy she was going to skin him alive if he was ever late for church again, frog or no frog. What happened? Well, he brought the frog anyhow and uh, simply cleared out the ladies' Bible class in nothing flat. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Hmm? Oh, Vanessa, excuse me. Mm. It's your father. Oh, thank you. Daddy, Daddy, get over here right now. This has gone on too long. Bring Billy with you. What? Billy's really not with you? Billy must have been in an accident.
I did was ask you if you knew where I could get a fake passport. I didn't ask you to get it for me, okay? Yeah. I might as well. No, I don't want you to, all right? I don't want you to be involved that deep. That deep? I stole a corpse for you. I falsified oh, medical man. records. How, no. We passed deep a long you time You know ago. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Beth, help me out here. No, I, I'm staying out of this one. I'm going to go look for your passport. We'll need the picture regardless of how we get the fake one. All right, look, you know, we don't have time for a long discussion, all right? You're, you're on trial for murder. I'll take care of the, the damn passport, Rick, all right? please, man, don't do this to me. What, and deprive you of being noble, Philip? No okay, chance. I'm not the one that's getting off on that. You are. Wait a minute, I, I'm an accomplice to a crime. I have no idea what the hell you are planning. That's not noble, it's being stupid. Well, if it's so stupid, why are you doing it? Rick, don't you understand... Give me a break here. Look, I'm, I'm not going to be able to be happy living anywhere, whether I have Beth and the baby with me or not, if I know I've gotten you in trouble, okay? You better make damn sure this plan of yours works. I can't do that, Rick. I can't guarantee you of anything. Look, maybe, maybe we should reevaluate this, because if you want to back out, it's not too late. But you've got to tell me, you know? What's it going to be? Just one more scoop, please. Bennett, you've gone through the whole meal without wearing any of your food. Please don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Nothing, nothing. Just me being goofy, that's all. That's his life work. Yeah, well, it was until you straightened me out. I mean, come on, look at me. I'm all responsible now. <laughs> See, that's why Harley, uh, that's why I made Harley cry. She's much better at growing up than I was. They made me mad, so I took it out on her. I was mean to him, too. Why? Because I loved him. Still don't get it. <laughs> It's okay. We didn't either. <laughs> Al, Michael, and I have learned from our mistakes. That's why I know things are going to work out between you and Blake. Thanks. I mean it. It was a slow dance, Alex. I had to be close to you. Not that close. Um. Want some dessert? No, thank you. More champagne? Mm. Let's see. We've covered the weather, the music, the food. The next subject I see coming up is our digestive systems, and I really draw the line at fat. <laughs> oh, it's good to hear you laugh. I remember the first time I heard you laugh was on that island, and I thought to myself, that is one fascinating woman. I remember. You were lying to me about who you were then, too. Check, please. She's, she's out, isn't she? You take her long. <laughs> a lot of ice cream for a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I still worry about you. Why? You know I always land on my feet. <laughs> yeah, but when are you going to land? I don't know, Alan Michael. I think when I make sure the kids are all right. You're really good with them, you know. And one day, you are going to make the best wife and mother a guy could ever ask for. One day. gutter and back alley looking for you guys. You know, you might not want to use your real name. We don't want to leave any tracks. That's right. Um, Louis Carrillo. Who? Oh. Do you remember that guy? He hung out at the underground circus. He always made passes at Mindy all the time. Oh, yeah. Vaguely. Yes, could I have your flight schedule in New York City, please? Springfield? 
Thank you. That, yeah, that's, that's fine. That'll be fine. One-way ticket. No, no, man, this is going to be cash. I'll pay cash when I get uh, to the airport and pick up the ticket. My name? Louis Carrillo. Thank you. My first big step in a life of crime. I think I'm going to throw up. Right, Billy Lewis. What do you mean you don't know if he's been treated? Look, will you please just put Dr. Rick Bauer on the phone? Yes, he is. He is on duty. Are you absolutely sure? No, no message. No word yet. Well, that's good, ain't it? Maybe Billy was involved in a minor accident. No injuries, you know, but a lot of time spent dealing with the police. Well, he would have called here. He knows that we're worried about him. Well, if he's not hurt, he's going to be when I get through with him. I think it's time to tell Vanessa what's going on. And we're going to have such a lot of fun together, just the three of us. It's going to be great. It's going to be like being a real family again. Come on, uh, Billy. Old Sarko kid, let's go find Hamp. And I want you both to give me the grand tour of this super tanker, huh? Sure, Bye. Bye. We've tried all the hospitals in the area. There's no word. I think it's time to call the police. Do you want me to do it for you? No, I'll do it. Report a missing person, please. Billy Lewis. This is his wife. Well, I was about to be. Trust everything was satisfactory? The food and the service were excellent, Brian. Thank you. Some enchanted evening, it wasn't. Just what did you expect? A chance. I gave you more than that just by being here. What is it you want? I'll know when I get it. All right. It's time to go to the morgue and pick up our friend. Okay. Uh, don't forget the dental charts and x-rays. We won't. Oh, wait a minute. What are we doing? Where are we going to keep him? The, uh, the freezer. Remember the freezer in the, in the basement at the lighthouse? Perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. All right. Um, listen, we're going to drive around for a while and lose the press here, so by the time you go, it should be pretty clear. All right? Okay. okay. Good I'm, luck. We'll see you. All right. Hey. Yeah. Um, should we pick up some ice just to be on the safe side? Ice? We're... I don't give well, You know, this is a big step, you know? I mean, if we're going to do it, we should do it right, shouldn't we? Why don't they call back? I got it. Blue moon. Yeah, okay. It's Billy. What? Billy? Uh, uh, uh yeah. Hi, Darren. Billy, where... Uh, where are you? Are you all right? has been Guiding Light.
leather goods by coach. Be sure to be with us Monday for another full hour of Guiding Light. This is CBS.